Hello and what is up, all my wonderful RC people. As you can see, I have my Hornet, and I love the way this paint job came out. I think it looks great. I like my little Buzz Off B driver in there. But other than that, I do not care for the white wheels and the plastic sidebars, the black plastic. I think it could look better. So I have been eBay shopping. And the these parts are pricey, but I kind of want to do this up and make it extra shiny. I think I'm going to just kind of go all, all in on my Hornet here and do it all up. So I've bought these aluminum side rails. They're about, I think, $36. And they were eBay, so it's kind of hard to leave links for some of the stuff. But, man... Just those compared to what is on there. It's kind of hard to hold up and see, but those are those are going to stick out. I'll get those pushed over out of the way for now. And the other thing I got, and I thought these were super cool. Aluminum powder coated like deep dish wheels. And I think these may be a glue on. I think it just may be a simulated B lock, but we'll see. And this is uh, option number one parts. Get those opened up. And let's see. They give you a nice little sticker set. Those are some pretty good little stickers. We always like stickers in the RC world. And a whole new set of wheel nuts, nylon locking wheel nuts. Pretty nice. Well, let's get one of the rear wheels opened up and have a look at it. Okay, yes, from yes, these are a one-piece design. They are just a simulated beadlock, but I am okay with that. As cheap as these Tamiya tires are, I have no problem gluing them on. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a perfect fit. It fits right over the stock wheel. Let me zoom in here so you can really get a good look at these guys. I mean, isn't that just a nice looking wheel? That is just, just great compared to what was on there. Oh, let's open up one of the front wheels and get a look at it. That is also a really nice looking wheel. Zoom in again. And when I do that, for some odd reason, I do have a volume change. I think there's a way I can change it in the settings. Just haven't done that yet. But yeah, nice glue on. Should glue in there. Really, really nice tracks. And you want know, to get these off, you just heat them up with a heat gun. They should peel right out if you want to change your tires. And I am going to switch out to bearings while I have these off. So. To get going, I'm just going to pull this thing apart and switch these tires out. I'm, uh, I'm going to wash them up real good and make them, make them look real good before I go switching them out. And let's just get them on there and see how they look. So we are back and the wheels are on and the sidebars are on. And I love the way this thing looks. Look at that. That just really, really looks nice compared to how it was before. And I went ahead and took this uh, chance while I was working on it to add some extra stuff because just having the all black down here seemed kind of uh, bland. So I was able to go through my old Tamiya stickers and pick these off of uh, kits I hadn't used all the stickers off of. And I was able to do these stickers on the side. And I think that really just adds to the look of it. But in the spirit of this, since this was a gift from a a good friend of mine and kind of want to pay homage to that I just keep wanting to work on this thing so we're gonna remove the silver can and we have a torque tuned motor and you can see I have the front bumper off and that's because I have a new front bumper for this too and this is from RC Adong and it is a really good looking like profile aluminum bumper and it should just go with the overall look of the car. Ooh, that is nice. And ooh, it is solid. That's good because I've bought some of these from other companies. And they have literally just folded over upon impact. 
That'll sit right in there. I like that. And let's get out our, our torque tune motor and have a look at that because that's going to replace our little 540 Mabachi, Vamucci, however you want to call it. And there we go, a nice torque tuned motor. So that will give us a little bit more pep to the step and look a little bit nicer because it has that sticker on it. So I'm going to get these mounted up and I will be back with you. Okay, so on a lot of these spur gears, you will run into, see that just doesn't want to break loose, not want to force it. So this is my trick. This is what I do. And it has always worked out well for me. So I will hold it and away, and that's just the grease burning off. But I'll get it warmed up with a small propane torch. And then with a little bit of pressure, it usually pops right free, just like that. So that's all you got to do, guys. A little bit of extra heat on that. And just take your time. I should have wiped the grease away. It would have stopped a little bit of smoke. But there we go. Good to go. Nice and free and ready to go on the new motor. So everything bolted into place, no problem. Wasn't expecting any. That bumper looks great. And I also went ahead and redid our wiring on the inside and moved the ESC down to the side here. I understand it won't get quite as good a cooling, but I don't really expect this to get that hot anyway. But what it does do is makes this area look much nicer when the driver is sitting over top of it. And the torque tune motor bolted right in with no problems. Didn't expect it to since it was a Tamiya Direct replacement. Got that all tucked down in nice and neat. And these were glue-on wheels and tires, and I am so glad they were. The headache of just uh, disassembling the three-piece beadlocks that come with these Tamiya Hornets and Hoppers and all the other things that they put them on is just a, a hassle. I would rather mess with the glue. And with gluing these was super simple. Just I put a drop on each side so the tires don't blow off. And if I want to get it back off, I'll warm them up with a heat gun and pull them right out of there and put a new set of tires on nice and easy. So let's pop the top on and see how well that did at uh, clearing up the, the headspace there for our B. And much better. Now we're not seeing the ESC directly under him, and I might actually take a washer and drop his body down further so you can see him better. There it is, all buckled up and ready to go. That bumper turned out awesome. I was able to add a Hornet sticker to the front of it. And just everything came out nice. I really think this added to the look, and it's going to add to the performance, because I also did add the bearings in the end of the axle shafts and in the wheels. Whenever I open up this gearbox, I'll add the bearings to that. I was able to add, I don't know how well you can see it, but that's the old don't touch symbol. I found that in my Tamiya sticker stuff, so I put that on there. And just everything looks really nice. And you're going to have to wait to see this one run because I'm taking it to Florida. Now I'm getting this ready to go for USTE. I am going to throw it in the vintage buggy class for a show and shine because I really think that this paint job is going to absolutely sparkle in that Florida sun. So you're gonna After we're done with USTE... I will be hitting some beaches along Savannah, Georgia, and probably a couple in Florida as well. And when that time comes, you will see this run because its first run is going to be on the beach, guys. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my uh, little upgrades and Tamiya bling. I do believe I found links for these wheels, so I will leave those, and I really think these are a good thing to get. They are also going to add a little bit of weight to the front end, which is going to help keep that front end down and help your steering. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Smash that like on the way out. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you have an awesome day.